So after watching this video, it will take only 30 seconds to convert binary to octal, octal to binary, binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to binary. If you don't believe me, watch this video till the end and I'll assure you that you will be solid in within 30 seconds. And this is very helpful in all competitive exams as well as your semester exams. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first, we are going to solve binary to octal conversion. How to convert a binary number into octal number? So the best way is to have an example. So here we have this binary fractional number. We are not solving a simple binary number, but instead we are solving a binary fractional number. So by default, you will be able to learn both the things, normal number as well as fractional number. So in order to solve this thing, what we're supposed to do, we'll segregate these two sides, right? So we'll write this side by side. And here I'm showing you a binary octal table. This table represents binary equivalent to octal. And observing this table, it's clear that if you want to represent any single digit octal number, you require a three bit binary number. So here what we'll do, we'll start from this side. Here we'll start creating a club of three digits to convert it into octal equivalent number. So the first three digit, the first club of three digit is 110. So what is the octal equivalent to 110? It's six. So we'll write six here. Then we'll take next club. It's 110. So 110 is equivalent to four. So we'll write four here. And here we have only two numbers and we have just learned that in order to convert this binary into octal, we are supposed to have three digits. So whenever you are solving for the integer part of the number or the left hand side from the point, you are supposed to add zero on the left hand side of the number. So now this number is 0, 1, 0 and it is the club of three. So when you see here, 0, 1, 0, it represents 2 because if you convert this into three digit number, it becomes 0, 1, 0. This number is 0, 0, 1 and this one is 0, 1, 1. So 0, 1, 0 represents 2. So write 2 over here. So this 2, 4, 6 is the octal equivalent to this binary number. And now it's time to convert the fractional part. And in order to convert the fractional part, you're supposed to follow the same logic. First, we start from the left hand side and we'll create a club of three. So this is 101, a club of three. And see, 101 is five. So write five over here. The next is only one. So what we're supposed to do here for the fractional part or the right hand side from the point part, what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to add two zeros after that number it will not change the magnitude of that number. So here we have a club of 100 and 100 represents 4. So here you're supposed to write 4. So now we have the number 54 which is the octal equivalent to this section of the binary. And now when we combine both these numbers together, we'll have a complete number 246.54 which is the octal equivalent to the binary. Don't you think that using this method you are going to solve it in within 30 seconds? Is it true or not? Let's have a verification check and in order to check that thing I am giving you a short quick question and your question is this. You need to convert this 110010 into octal equivalent and your options are 175 and 162. Just pause the video and quickly solve it within 30 seconds and write the answer in comments below and tell me whether you have able to solve it in 30 seconds or not. And if you are enjoying learning from this video, do not forget to hit the like button to this video, right? It helps me a lot. So now we are going to move for the next section and that is octal to binary conversion. So for that, we have the question 354.61. We are going to convert this octal number into binary equivalent. We'll follow the same process. We'll separate out the integer number and the fraction number. And here we have the binary octal table. The logic is same. We require three digits to represent any octal number. So now we'll start with the integer part. 
and now we'll start from the right hand side part and that one is the least significant bit which is 4 if you want to convert this 4 into binary what is equivalent to 4 that is 100 so we'll write 100 here the next number is 5 and the equivalent to 5 is 101 so we'll write 101 here and the next number is 3 so binary equivalent to 3 is 11 but we'll not write 11 we'll write 011 so we'll get this and now we'll go for the fractional part here we'll try to solve the 6 what is the binary equivalent to 6 it's 101 write 101 here and the next is 1 so what is binary equivalent to 1 it's 1 but here you need to take some precaution do not write 1 instead of 1 you supposed to write 001 like this what will be the problem if you just write 1 I'll tell you in some time so this is the fraction side and this one is the integer side so if we combine both these things together we'll get this answer and now i'll tell you what is the problem if here instead of this 001 if you have written just one the binary equivalent to this number is 110001 but instead of this 001 if you have just written one then the binary equivalent will become 1101 and when you convert this 1101 in again back to octal number what will be the octal equivalent to this 110 that is equivalent to 6 but only 1 so what is the rule when you have only 1 in the fraction you supposed to add 2 zeros at the end and when you add 2 zeros at the end what you will get you will get 100 and what is the octal equivalent to 100 that is 4 so instead of this 6 1 you will convert it as 6 4 and that will be the wrong answer so that is the reason why instead of writing just one you're supposed to write 0 0 1 and this logic you're supposed to follow for 0 1 2 and 3 right you supposed to represent any octal number in three digit binary number then there will not be any issue so I think this section is clear to you and to verify whether you have learned it properly or not there is another quick short question for you and the question is you need to convert this 205 octal number into binary number you have two options A and B and within 30 seconds you are supposed to solve this thing and write the answer in comments below do not forget to write the answer in comments below because it's verification check for you as well as me and now it's time to convert binary number into hexadecimal number so here we have this number and we are going to convert this number into hexadecimal so have a look at this binary hexadecimal chart here you can see that to represent a single hexadecimal digit you supposed to use four binary digits or four bit binary number so this is the key thing to convert binary to hexadecimal to represent each hexadecimal there is four binary bits so with this now let's get back to the number so we are going to solve this integer part first so it's 101110 so what we're supposed to do we're supposed to start solving it from the least significant side so here in hexadecimal number you're supposed to create a club of four binary digits so first club of four binary digits is 1110 so 1110 is e so you're supposed to write e over here the next we have only two digits so what you supposed to do as we have did previously we supposed to add two zeros before the one so now we have a club of four digits 0010 and that represents two so we supposed to write two over here so that is equivalent to 2e and that is the hexadecimal equivalent to that binary number now we are going to solve for the fractional part and here we have the fractional part so we'll write it like this 1100101 the same way we'll start from this side we'll create a club of 4 and the hexadecimal equivalent to this binary number is c so we'll write c over here the next is 101 so here we have only three digits so what are we supposed to do the same thing we have did previously we supposed to add 0 over here so now we have the club of 4 1010 and that is equivalent to a so we'll write a over here so the number is c a my god it's chartered accountant right 
here the key thing that you supposed to fit in your mind is when you are converting from binary to hexa or hexa to binary the conversion will take four bits and you are dealing with binary to octal or octal to binary you need to consider three bits right so this is the fundamental logic so now when we combine both the values together we'll have a hexa equivalent to the binary which is 2e.ca the next is hexadecimal to binary conversion and this is our number 6b.a2 so first we'll separate both the number 6b and a2 and we'll start with the integer side 6b so first we'll start from the left hand side and the first digit is b so what will be the binary equivalent to b that is 1011 so we'll write 1011 here and the next number is 6 so what will be the binary equivalent to 6 it's 110 but instead 110 what you supposed to write 0110 so we are writing 0110 and then we are going for the next side and that is a2 so that is the fractional number so that is the fractional side so we'll write a2 and here we'll start with the a so the binary equivalent to the a is 1010 so we'll write it here and the binary equivalent to 2 that is 10 so instead of 10 what we supposed to write 0010 do not make the mistake to writing just 10 do not make the mistake to writing just 10 but instead that write 0010 so here we have 0010 and if we combine this number together we will have this binary as equivalent to this hexadecimal number isn't it very easy to solve right and now it's time for octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal conversion if you want to learn those things then watch the video represented on side by side and if you want to go for any another conversion like binary to decimal decimal to binary then this is the video for you so here you have this two questions and you have to solve it in 30 seconds and write your response that you are able to solve it in 30 seconds or not so see you in the next video